What's going guys, Zenus here and today in this video of Airflight, I am actually gonna bring you guys a tutorial or let's say a guide on how to do the Omen 10 floor, 11 floor and 12 floor combined, alright? So this has actually been a question for so many players out there, especially for the beginners and I would really love to uh, make some recommendations like what sort of like servants are gonna be the best picks for you to actually compete in those kind of floors all right and i will be also doing some like failure testing maybe uh like how they will actually fa uh, fail or let's say fall out from the grace so that like they won't be able to compete in the higher floors okay so let's get this started guys now first of all guys let's move on to the dungeon and let's start out with a daughter which obviously would be our five Blavatsky, isn't it so let's get into the Omens Void, which is actually one of the really best, uh, uh, you know, like, how to say this, stays to really farm for the really uh, top pick gears, alright? Whereas, for the Yids Void, I'm actually gonna make another video for that one, but today let's get on with the Omens Void. So let's try to do the Omens Void 10 floor. So, <clears throat> for the beginners guys, that I have always been saying, is that like, if you have a really good daughter, like let's say, like, uh, Water Leto, Forest Leto, or like let's say our five Blavatsky then things are gonna be pretty pretty easy for you guys to actually take down this monster okay all you need to have is a uh, Blavatsky five Blavatsky and a tank okay and that's that's all you need and let's try to battle okay so thing is that like you know uh, water Blavatsky actually uh, has like three types of dots with her that is level five that will really take down any unit in the game okay any unit like even though if it's like explore map uh, region unit or let's say omen okay except for the heat guys okay except for the heat dungeon because like heat dungeon really uh, do not respond to any sort of damage that is not critical hit or critical damage du especially during his uh, you know like how to say the shielding period okay which I'm gonna discuss uh, surely enough in the uh, in, you know like in the future video and guys make sure that you lock all those skills of your tank okay like this uh, there should be there should be lock for every other skills and for the combo skill of your five Blavatsky it needs to be locked as well if you don't know what skill lock is you can actually check out my guide video on that one as well but it's actually an icon that is at the left bottom corner of the icon of your servant and just click on it once to uh uh, lock the combo skill and you can uh, click on it twice to lock all the skills and uh, The third click will actually unlock all the skills. So that's how the you know the chain actually moves on. Okay, so let's try to do it And he is pretty much nearly dead. Okay, so that's about like one minute and nine second mark Okay, so sometimes like it's one minute sometimes like one minute and four second and stuff like that. Okay, so and that's the thing guys okay and the sort of like item drop that you can actually get from this uh, dungeon is pretty impressive as well well I have already made a lot of videos regarding on how to do this with five Blavatsky so you won't be able to find that them out on my YouTube channel okay just uh, check them out uh, if you really have any other some doubts or like to have you know, you know like sort of like a detailed version of how the things actually goes on but anyways this is how the CP actually looks like of my five Blavatsky and you can actually see out this kind of these are the sort of like gears that I've actually put out on her if you are really interested in like what sort of gears would be really amazing for my five Blavatsky uh, Siri is the type of servant that would really excel in the name of her speed okay her speed is very important her uh, uh, accuracy is pretty important guys okay speed uh, accuracy and the best thing is right over here is her skills uh, please try to max her skills ASAP and also try to give her a lot of HP boost and the defense boost so that like she has increased uh, survivability okay now let's move on to the next type of uh, DPS seven that we can battle against this monster okay for the next type guys let's try to do it with a seven that deals the damage based on his defense stats that would be our water simon okay well, uh, I have not equipped really a very good gear indeed for him so far, okay? I have actually focused on the defense and the Havoc uh, gear set. So you can actually pause the video in order to like see all the, you know, like how to say this, like stats in detail, okay? And these are his CP, obviously you need to focus on his defense stats and critical rate and critical damage. That's how he will actually uh, smash out a lot of damage. Now let's see how it actually goes on, okay? Uh, in team passive guys, try to pick a servant that will actually boost the defense of your entire 
team okay or at least let's say for water simon uh, like, like let's say water lucrecia that will provide even better like 52 percent uh, defense boost in all regions okay so that's much better right and we have this like uh forest sphinx right over here because like our water simon he will actually receive 100 percent defense boost if there is a sphinx present in the team okay so that will obviously uh increase his survivability plus his damage output isn't it and the next one is obviously Fire Spiegel, which will really help him to refill his uh, combo skill gauge faster so that he can actually smash it out really fast. I mean like easy play, easy, uh, easy peasy deal, right? So let's try to do it. Let's try to do the battle. And one thing that I would really love to recommend to you guys, uh, this, deep, uh, you know, like DPS based DPS servant, because they are very resilient, okay? They are very resilient indeed. They really have a lot of like defense, obviously. So, uh, you know, like they, are, they will be really hard to be killed. And at the same time, they can actually deal a massive amount of damage just like that, okay? So that is not a very, very big deal about that one. Okay, so just look at that, guys. I mean, like the damage is already pretty great indeed. And yeah. Uh, if uh, you know like that uh, omen uh, had not like taken out that defense down debuff then he would have been actually dead mid very fast okay so that was really a very very fast battle indeed isn't it I mean like it took about like one minute and nine seconds for five Lovatsky to end it whereas for water Simon he was able to deal it uh, do it within like 15 seconds obviously he has a elemental advantage as well in the first place the next thing is that like even if he actually goes solo what it happens is that like it will be really hard time for the omen to actually defeat him okay so that is actually another uh, thing right out here especially if he's like defense buff uh, thanks to like a uh, fire aim right over here who provides him like extra defense buff and thanks to the, like uh, uh, this this forest sphinx who will provide like extra 100 percent defense so with all those defense adding up i mean like you will be nearly immortal against uh the uh, the likes of uh the omen type floor because like you know like the more defense you have the more survivability you are gonna get guys i mean like that's gonna be that's gonna be the thing and even if like let's say somehow somehow you are like tank dies your support dies and your healer dies and you are the only one standing with your water simon thing is that guys you are still gonna defeat his ass okay so that's the thing okay so please keep that in mind and now let's move on to the next type of uh, hero unit okay for this next recommendation guys uh, de defense ignore type DPS 7 is gonna be pretty good as well okay well I have not really built her really that 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 awesome okay and it is kind of really easy to achieve like this kind of gears and like this kind of stats for uh, ignore based dps servants okay ignore defense dps servants and guys uh, just try to max out her all of her skills and on the only thing that you really need to focus on this type of units so first of all guys uh get them a lot of speed stat and get them a lot of attack stats you really don't need to worry about the critical rate and critical damage you know why because her ultimate skill that can actually ignore the defense of the uh, opponent cannot crit okay so if it cannot crit then what is the use of critical rate and critical damage and you might say like oh by the way his her first skill and the second skill can actually crit but just look at the damage guys okay if you're actually looking forward for like uh let's say a normal dps seven, like let's say our fire enoch or maybe like a uh, fire what do you call that john wake okay so when you are looking into like the different uh, the attack of those kind of like servants the damage dealt is about like 11 1100 okay near like it's double it's double of this one okay so those are the things that you have to keep in mind guys so like uh, the damage is really really low so you really have to fully focus totally on attack so uh, if you really get a gear that will really help you to gain a lot of speed stat and attack percentage boost stat that, that is totally enough for the ignore based uh, de defense ignore based dps 7 that's why they're pretty much easy to build up as well okay so let's try to do it let's try to battle against this ass okay and now you might ask like what is the team composition really about and first of all let's start with the team passive okay i'm using the team passive of the water charlotte herself because it says attack of the water allies increases by 37 percent at all reasons which is pretty amazing because like she will scale the damage depending upon her attack stats right so keeping that in mind she will actually be able to deal more damage if you if she has more attack stat okay and what uh, fire aim is just for you know like for defense purpose uh for sphinx uh, you see it's just there and the next one is our you know like fire speaker now he's a key 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 component right over here 
Uh, first thing first, obviously, he will help you help your DPS servant to, uh, you know, like uh, land those combo skills really, really fast. Okay, recharge those combo skills really, really fast. And the next thing is that, like, Water Charlotte will also uh, gain 120%, yes, 120% attack boost from Fi Spiegel. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. You always need to take the advantage of the relation effect. That is this one, the red uh, words or red sentence, okay? Red colored sentence. Uh, thing is that, like, uh, also try to have a really a good, you know, like, uh, well built team, okay? So keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. And now let's do the battle. Let's see how the battle will actually go out, which I think will actually take a little bit more time than compared to the normal. But if you have really built your uh, defense ignore based DPS server, like, let's say, Fire Zeta, Water Zeta, Forest Zeta, okay? Charlotte or let's say Christine. Yes, Christine is actually gonna be a pretty good choice for you as well But damn oh damn she doesn't have a really good uh, you know like how to say like passive for the dungeons I think like fire is the one for mass invasion whereas the uh, water is for the explore and the uh, forest is for the Abaddon okay, so that's pretty sad. That's really really sad indeed I would really love to see like a uh, version of the Christian that would have actually an uh, increased attack in the dungeons that would have been just insane guys I would have really picked her right off the bat, but that could not happen. So pretty much bad Okay, so right over here guys uh, as you can easily see. Oh, I want to take it So right over here you could see that like she took about like 29 seconds or 30 seconds, but hey 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 my Water Shatter is sort of like very low CP type Okay, so uh, that's the thing. I think her CP is about like 30k. Okay, as I have showed you a little bit earlier, and uh, like her gears are not really that impressive. So it took her like about uh, 30 seconds. Okay, but thing is that like if she's really built properly, then obviously she can actually finish the battle between 10 to 15 seconds if she has really good speed stat. Okay, you really have to make really her really really good at speed. Then obviously she might be actually finish it within 10 seconds. But if it her uh, speed stats. Are pretty much normal and her attack stats are really high then obviously it's actually gonna take her at least 15 seconds to clear out this stage so you still have the hopes really high and yes for beginners guys water charlotte is a four star net servant okay which is really easy to build uh because like she consumes like less supreme awakening stones to be awakened and her copies it's gonna be really easy for you guys to actually get them from fusion okay just to the fuse uh summon section and do the fusions and you will be getting a lot of her copies in no time so keep that in mind guys really really easy to build really easy to get and one of the really top picks for the beginners in order to compete in this kind of stuff now the next one is our water lanors who is attack based type of dps servant well actually in omen 10 floor dungeon any sort of dps servant will have a really really big chance in spamming that one guys as you go like above like let's say omen floor 11 and 12 especially uh, you know like the group really starts to get you know like converging okay anyways these are the gears that i have actually put on my water laner so you might actually take this guy as actually a showcase for many other characters uh or let's say service that i have in my inventory stash and you can actually copy them or like like to like or let's say like to create uh, your dps servant in like similar sort of fashion to have reach to this kind of like sort of cp level which is like 86720 it was like 92000 a little while ago because like i actually made some like problem i'm like you know like how to say this uh changes in the critical rate so her cp actually went down but anyways it's okay so these are the things that you need to keep in mind guys uh, first of all, obviously, she's attack with DPS 7. That's why uh, what's really gonna happen is that, like, her attack stats is gonna be main stat, speed stat is also gonna be really important. Critical rate and critical damage will play a very vital role in her damage output. Now, let's see what she can actually do, okay? So, let's get into this one. But before that one, let's see how the uh, like team passive is really gonna roll out. I'm gonna use the team passive of my water Zeta because he is actually gonna provide. 52% of attack boost to all water allies in all reasons. So that is humongous, isn't it? And water laner is not an exception, okay? Now, uh, thing is that like, uh, uh, water anchor is placed right over here because like water anchor will provide a 100% attack boost to our water laner. You always need to keep that in mind, guys. Please try to always, uh, you know, like capitalize on the relation effects, okay? Uh, please, that, please keep that in mind. And obviously like fire speaker, as you know it, he will really help 
to replenish the combo skill gauge of the Waterlander ASAP. Now let's see how the battle will really go like. Uh, I think the speed stat of my Waterlander is not really that high or else she could have actually smashed the tits of this Omen 10 floor in just maybe like 10 seconds. I really don't know like who, uh, like how many players are there who can actually like uh, do it within the 5 seconds. Like as soon as you like uh, enter the battle and then like boom bam boom bash okay i mean like you will be able to do, uh, do the battle within like five seconds i'm like i would be really 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 e uh, like happy to see that but hey guys did you just see that did you just see that she nearly killed him off in just two uh, active skills okay first skill and second skill oh my god holy crap she nearly got him she nearly nearly got him so if i actually give her some really good stats I think she can actually do it with 10 seconds even without using the combo skill, okay? So that's how good Waterlander really is. Damn, did you see that? Did you see that? Oh my god. She could have actually done it, done it within like 10 seconds, guys. Just uh, like, you know, like a bit, a pinch of life uh, that Omen, you know, like how to say, like grabbed onto the life. Damn it, damn it, damn it. So she's, uh, she's also really good. And guess what, guys? Uh, for beginners, if you are a beginner, then... Uh, Waterlander is actually provided in the Transcendence Guide, okay? Uh, you can actually claim her up from right away, Game Guide. Just go into the Game Guide, go into the uh, Transcendent Guide, and from the Transcendent Guide, you can actually claim her two copies that will really help you to transcend her to the uh, second Transcendence right away, okay? And as you keep on progressing, you will even get her shards that will allow you to get her, like, extra copy as well. So that is pretty insane. So, if you are a beginner, you have a select summon stones, and you are actually really wondering that, like, I really want to get a unit that would really help me in the late game. There you go, guys. I mean, like, you have Waterlander right over here, and then, like, how can a game be so much generous in providing a top-tier DPS servant in the entire HOL committee, okay? So, please keep, uh, I mean, like, keep, in mind, keep this in mind, and please try to capitalize on this opportunity you have okay please try to do this right away and now let's move on to the final type of dps servant that is the speed based dps servant now the best recommendation that i can actually give you for omen 10 floor is a speed based dps servant yes guys they usually can actually clear this omen 10 floor within 10 second mark i mean like just think about the opportunity or the potential that you can actually farm a lot of gears within a very uh, limited period of time guys i mean like, this is actually gonna give you a lot of uh, gears within a very short period of time right so right over here i have my water blavatsky this is actually from my next account and this is how her cp really looks like these are the gears that have been actually given to her and I'm really trying to improve her gears, okay, which I am actually in the process. So if I actually get a lot of good substats from the conversion, then obviously I will, you know, like proceed with that one. Uh, all her skills are really maxed out and obviously she will get a 100% attack boost from the anchor present in the team, which I have actually made sure that the water anchor is there as a tank and uh, Fire Spiegel is there so that like he will actually allow the uh, Water Blavatsky to have more efficient or let's say more faster combo skill uh, recharge, okay? And the next one is our Water Jita who will be providing this 52% attack boost, all right? So now let's get into this battle without wasting any further time. The speed-based TPS servant, guys, the best recommendation that I can actually give you if you can pull this off, okay? If you can make this out, then please, guys, go with the speed-based TPS servant, especially a water element, okay? Because obviously, it's a fire element, so if you go with, like, a uh, forest-based TPS servant, then they will be off really no good. Just look at that. Within just, like, 10 seconds, her, you know, like, uh, combo skill has already been recharged, and she was able to impact her combo skill right away. Within 10 seconds, guys. Within 10 seconds. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that what you would really want to see? Come on, guys. I mean, like, within 10 seconds, your combo skill is recharged. I would really love to see that video out if there is someone who can actually make the combo skill recharge in within just 5 seconds. That would be crazy insane. I mean, like, as soon as you enter the battle and then you spam out the combo skill, just think about it. But I think that is gonna be a very, 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 very hard task. Maybe nearly sort of, like, impossible. But, like, you know, like, I am still hopeful that, like, there might be some player who can actually make that happen, okay? But this one is the thing, guys. I mean, like, 10 seconds and then you are actually gonna get a gear right off the bat. That is insane, okay? And now, let's move on to the 
uh, like next days, okay? So let's go into the Omen Void 11 floor and let's see what sort of things are actually gonna uh, occur, okay? So now, when it comes to Omen Void 11 floor, okay? The thing is that like, the Omen is of water element, okay? Now, first thing that is actually gonna come into your mind is that like, is my fire blowback gonna be a very good pick for this floor? And I would say, well, no, okay? Because like, there will be a glancing hit that is gonna be in effect, meaning like, if you have an elemental disadvantage, meaning like you are fighting with the weaker element against the stronger element opponent, there will be a sort of thing called glancing hit. And what glancing hit really does is that like, it has a very high chance that like, it will ignore the secondary effects like dots and stuff like that. So it's gonna be really that kind of thing guys and like with elemental advantage going on There's a higher chance that like it will actually be considered as a glancing hit whenever any damage is gonna come towards them So that is actually a problem. But anyways, I'm actually gonna go with that one in this video guys uh, First of all guys if you have five Blavatsky in your team make sure that your tank is actually a file man type as well uh, let's say if you want to just use your mind and you want to use a uh, forest tank what's gonna happen is that like the omen will actually target you okay fire blavatsky you really need to make sure that your fire blavatsky actually stays uh, alive okay so that's the thing so that's why you need to pick, pick, uh, pick a like a fire tank so that like you know uh, this water uh, ele element opponent will actually you know focus on this one tank and I've actually given like, you know, like in terms of team passive, I think there, there is actually a very big discussion, a really argument going on in the HOL community that uh, the defense stats is pretty much better than compared to the HP stat when it's against fighting the Omen dungeon, okay? So now let's get this started guys. Let's see how it actually rolls on out. I'm not pretty much really that optimistic about this one. So let's see, I'm like just to show you guys, okay? Uh, this might actually end up in a failure as well, but there might actually be a little bit chance that like it will actually turn out to be really good as well, okay? So let's just think of, let's just see into it. So see, I'm like, it was glanced out, so her second skill was not able to land any debuff, and neither her first skill as well, okay? So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, okay, let's see. I'm like, I'm like still there is hope, okay, now is yet, okay, so. Oh, uh, now there is another thing going on guys. I mean like this omen what it actually can do is that like there's actually a cleanse thing also going on Okay, especially with that, you know, like the statue right over there It keeps on cleansing like every one time uh, every turn or stuff like that So that is also also, also really bad and she was actually able to inf inflict like two or two types of dots So, you know, like there's still some hope. Okay, now there you go even though like, you know With elemental advantage your opponent might have a really big chance. Okay, a big time and you know like avoiding uh, all those dots, okay, but I'm mean, like it's not like 100% immunity, okay, maybe like a <coughs> Sorry about that guys Maybe a lot of sort of like 50% uh, chance that you will be able to actually inflict that one But see right over there, so it's not actually a very good, uh, you know, like how to say like selection, okay For you to take, uh, you know, like a really a good idea to take a uh, You know, fire blow bats in like in that kind of thing, but if you have like other type of like uh, servants, like let's say water leto or forest leto or combo of both two, or if you have those two units, particular units, then you can actually do the omen void 11 floor in a dot style, okay? You can actually do that with the water leto and forest leto, but the problem is that like sadly I really do not have those units and maybe I do have, but the thing is that like they still need a lot of build, okay? So that's the thing. So right over there, even though like five Blavatsky should have been able to take down the Omen, but due to the elemental disadvantage, she actually loses the battle against the Omen Void 11 floor. So five Blavatsky sort of like fades out in here, okay? Now let's move on to what would be our next type. So our next candidate would be a Ignore Based DPS 7, or Ignore Defense Based DPS 7. Okay, if I actually mispronounce that one. But anyways, look into this thing, guys. And I have my Water Charlotte. I have my Fire Spiegel, obviously. That will provide 120% direct boost to my Water Charlotte. Plus some really good, uh, you know, like, refill to the combo skill gaze. Whereas the Water Rain, uh, uh, meaning, like, uh, Forest Rain is right over here to tank out uh, the damage coming from the Omen. And I also uh, put, like, the extra tank right over here for, like, two to sort of defense right out there, okay? So let's try to do this battle guys, let's try to do this battle. And obviously in the team passive I have 37% attack boost that is coming from the water Charlotte so that she can actually deal more some damage. 
Okay, let's see how it'll actually go. I'm not pretty much optimistic about uh, about this as well, uh, because like you know, like the damage that you are actually gonna see uh, incoming uh, from the Water Charlotte is pretty much a little bit limited one as well. Uh, damn, I should have actually given her even more. You know how to say this? Uh, uh, speed boost. Okay, wow, that's good. Nearly 50% of life for her one combo skill. Okay. So that's pretty hopeful. That's pretty hopeful, guys. The thing is that, like, you were not able to complete it within like 10 seconds or 30, uh, you know, like 10 seconds or 15 seconds mark. It's already like 30 seconds. It's already over 30 seconds. And let's see if she can actually finish this one out right over here. Not still enough, okay? Oh well, my water shard is a little bit like, uh, uh, like uh, under equipped, or let's say not equipped really that nicely. That might actually be the problem as well. But I think uh, at least it's actually gonna take you a really a uh, lot of time like let's say at least 20 seconds or maybe 25 seconds or maybe even 30 seconds to actually complete this one so finally she's able to complete in the mark of like 55 seconds okay so actually that's a long period of time nearly a minute mark okay so that's the problem with the uh, ignore defense based dps servant okay because like they actually take a lot of time i mean like i would say like they cannot deal much time okay i mean like much damage okay they cannot deal uh, damage as compared to like other units out there which I am actually gonna show you later okay so that is actually a problem with the ignore defense based TPS 7 now they will start to fall off the grace especially if you are a beginner but hey guys I'm mean, like if you manage to put her a very weird I and mean, like super OP type of gears then that could have been actually a game turner but I'm mean, like it actually gonna cost you a lot of investments guys okay so that's the thing that you have to keep in mind and you can see that Thing right over here now let's move on to the next category so our next category would be a attack based dps7 that would be our water lander obviously provided a 52 percent attack boost by water zeta and water uh, anko will be uh, acting as a tank plus uh, providing 100 percent attack boost to the water lander and our fire spiegel obviously as always providing a uh, combo skill gauge boost okay so that's the thing that you need to keep in mind and now let's start this or let's trigger this battle okay death battle <laughs> holy crap oh man i got some flu anyways uh so right over here we can see that omen void 11 floor so right over here let's see how it's actually gonna go out okay uh well in omen void 10 floor our water laner nearly did like two shots she nearly two shot the opponent but in this case let's see let's see can she three shot him oh man oh look at that oh man oh man. That, that doesn't that feel so good doesn't that feel so good so that is a 15 second mark okay uh well if you wa really want to make her like a 10 second marker then obviously you need to focus on a speed stat now it's the turn for our safest batch okay that would be a defense based damage dealing dps servant that would be our first uh archangel for this moment i am so happy that i was actually able to get uh forest archangel okay to level 70 and fifth awakening asap as the uh, like before the collaboration ended okay so i'm pretty happy about this one so these are the gears that i have been providing to him and obviously like uh to fight against the omen void 11 floor which is of water element uh my forest based dps 7 is actually gonna be really really amazing guys and guess what guys she's actually gonna be a bully to him as well because all attacks received will be land uh will land as glancing hits from being hit by a water enemy so that is pretty great You'll have increased survivability as well as he will be able to really give a really good bullism to this opponent, okay? So what a uh, first Archangel is right over here. He will be getting like 52% defense boost from the uh, what a uh, first Lucrecia. And then like we have this Water A Sphinx that will provide a combo skill gaze boost, okay? And also at the same time guys, oh my god, what did I click? Okay, right over here, you can go into the Forest Archangel and you can see that like he will be gaining a 100% defense boost from a Sphinx as well. Okay, that's why my Water A Sphinx is right over here or unless I'm like or else I would have picked my Fire Spiegel because like by slightly there is a slight uh, higher speed of combo skill gauge boost with the Fire Spiegel than compared to Water A Sphinx. So that is a sort of like thing right out there. And the next one is my Water Halil, okay. I am like ah man I should have included her along uh, like uh, in the uh, in, in the in the previous battles as well you know why because like when she is like fourth awakened she actually 
increases the damage dealt to the omen for all allies by 30%. Okay, so we will be looking forward for more damage as well. Maybe, maybe my water laner could have actually two shot it. Okay, two shot at the uh, omen 10 floor. Okay, with the help of this unit. Oh, maybe. Okay, I will do it later. I will do it at the end of the video. Okay, just keep that in mind. Okay, uh, let's do this. Let's do this battle. Okay. Oh, I will just note it out. Oh man, DNF with uh, water. Uh, uh, hey, Okay, I just noted it down. Okay, so let's do it. Oh man. Okay, so a uh, forest-based DPS servant is gonna be the safest choice, guys. Uh, well, they might take a little bit longer time, but if you actually give them a lot of stats boost. Then with critical rate and critical damage, they are gonna smash the ass of uh, Omen 11 floor in within 15 seconds, okay? Or 10 seconds maybe, if you really give them a lot of speed stat as well, if you manage to do that, okay? So that's pretty great, isn't that one, guys? I'm like, wow, I'm like, I would really love to claim that one, that's pretty good. Just, just look at that, guys, safe choice, because like, even though let's say your tank, your support units are like out of commission, uh, your 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 forest based dps seven is actually gonna keep on standing because like he's getting like 52 percent defense boost from forest lucrecia and getting like 100 percent defense boost from the support right and 30 percent damage boost from incoming from the water halo oh my god even though they even though they die okay the relation effect actually do not change it stands okay keep that in mind you might actually say that oh my god if, what if they die if the relation effect will still apply yes it does okay all you need to do is like get them in battle and in the battle if they somehow succumb to that uh, they are still gonna provide that relation effect okay even though like they are already dead so don't need to worry about that one so now let's move on to the best pick that you can actually go for the 11th floor and you have already I think guessed out who it's gonna be so my favorite pick is obviously speed based DPS 7 as he or she will be able to take down the omen 10 floor and 10 seconds guys usually 10 seconds okay so they, these are the things that i'm actually focusing on uh, my uh, like uh, you know like speed based to be a servant these are the uh, you know gears that i would really love to give uh, dps based i'm like speed based to be a servant so if you are if you want to look into all of this properly then you can just you know how to say this uh, pause the video for a while and then like start checking on the gears anyways these are the stats uh, you only need to go with like uh, attack, sp uh, attack stats speed stat critical rate and critical damage so these are the four stats that will make your speed bait based dps 7 a really great terror okay and guess what guys she is a forest element obviously which is gonna have an elemental advantage against this uh, unit okay so that is say that is said and done let's see like is there any other thing that I can actually do Okay, so right out there. So attack of all element allies increases by 38% at origins is the passive skill of this unit. But if I have a forest unit, okay, that will actually do the speed boosting, which I actually have, okay, which I actually have, I actually have. Okay, sorry about that one, guys. This one, okay, uh, speed speed boosting, uh, you know, this team passive actually deals more damage for the. Uh, speed based DPS servants, okay. Keep that in mind. I think I have already made that video out. Uh, you can actually check that video out, okay. And obviously, my water hell is over there to give provide that 30% extra, uh, you know, how to say this damage boost. And this fire spiegel is there to provide a combo skill gaze, you know, like refreshment, okay. So, right out there, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see how it's gonna go. I'm pretty much excited about that one, okay. So Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh man. Okay, so. Oh well, uh, you know, like my water Halil or water A Halil, she actually gets like a 100% attack boost from Simon. Yes, from Simon. But you know, the problem is. <laughs> You know, the problem is that with the water Simon is that, oh my god, it actually takes 16 seconds. Uh, my Simon is very weak right now. Oh my god. Okay, that's so sad. Okay. Uh, you know what? You know why, why that happened? Uh, you know why the combo skill gates really did not fill out so fast? Because he actually changed the target, okay? So that's really bad. He actually changed the target. So in order to not make the sh make sure that like you know, the target actually changes, I have to go with a 
fire tank okay because like while he was attacking my forest tank he actually switched on to my fire spiegel now fire spiegel provides the combo skill gaze uh you know like refreshment if the tank gets hit okay so if he gets hit then he cannot actually use his passive skill so that is the problem right out there so let's try to do it again okay again so let's do it guys so let's see let's see let's see let's see Oh man, that was so sad. That was so, that was that was so sad. Okay, so right up here, this is gonna be a really great uh, battle indeed. Uh, you can see that like two relation effects is there. One relation effects comes from this, uh, you know, uh, this 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 water halal, and another relation effect who is gonna give it to me? Oh man, I was not able to reduce the defense. Oh man. Okay, so those are the things that you might actually take in uh, into consideration because like. Uh, you know like uh, how to say this like if you cannot uh, you know like decrease the defense of your main 10 floor what's really gonna happen is that like uh, he won't be able to take really really great damage okay so he will actually survive so that is the thing that you have to keep in mind damn that was so bad okay so I will sell this one out and let's try to do one more battle oh my god that's so sad holy crap okay okay okay, okay. so let's do it let's do it uh, main thing with your DPS servant is that like you want to really make sure that the opponent will be inflicted with the defense down Okay, or else things are gonna get get really screwed Okay, or let's say your farming potential is gonna be really hampered So uh, just manual just to make sure that like you know her first skill will land up and yes There we go. 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 Okay. Let's see. 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 Okay. There we go guys. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. Oh man, okay, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, okay? Woohoo! Okay, so there we go, guys. Just in 10 seconds, I was able to uh, complete the 11th floor, okay, with a speed based DPS 7. So that is the potential that a speed based DPS 7 is actually gonna provide to you because, like, she or he can actually farm this thing within 10 floor, okay? And I was not even able to, like, harness the energy of the uh, passive skill because, like, what, uh, my Simon is actually not of that higher level. So guys, in summary, speed-based DPS servants are the best pick, okay? Really the best pick. If you want to go for the safer pick, go with the servants or DPS servants that deal the damage based on their defense stats, like Forest Archangel, or let's say Water Simon, okay? Or let's say Forest Carmilla, okay? So these are the servants that it's gonna be a very, very safe choice indeed in order to complete this kind of stages, okay? And if you are really gonna go for a really faster mood, then you can actually go with the uh, speed based dps servant you can also go with attack based dps servant like uh, water leather if you really have a really good stats on them as well that's gonna be really great as well or you can actually go with the dot based dps servants uh but i think it's a very limited pool i think the only two servants that will actually be able to have a very good uh, time dealing uh dot skills against this kind of uh opponent is water leather and the force letter okay so i think the option is kind of there but pretty much like locked only onto like these two dot servants okay because i think there are no any other alternative options okay so that would be again a water letter and the force letter okay so now let's move on to our final showdown that will be the omen void 12th floor well 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 for the omen void 12th floor first thing we need to discuss about its element okay it's a forest element so if you bring a water element type of dps7 they are actually gonna fail really really bad like let's say water lander or let's say water simon or water charlotte these are the type of servants that will really fail really really bad against this monster okay he has a really 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 high damage output he's actually gonna take you down so fast and guess what guys his faltering calamity will has will have a countdown starting from five instead of ten yes five guys so he will be using that faltering calamity pretty soon okay so you really need to make sure that your dps servants are really on their uh Peak level okay and his first skill is the one that is a really big fear that why you cannot actually bring the dots because like the dot servants are usually support servants you need to keep that in mind right so next thing is that right over here it says the pendulum and despair what it does is that like uh, attacks the target and support servants okay so this unit this opponent actually capitalizes or let's say focuses on your 
dots are uh, your, your your support servants which are usually dot okay and he will actually kill them asap right off the bat okay so that's why dot team really do not stand much of a chance against him unless your dot is really really of high level which usually you don't want to get them into because like with that sort of resources you would actually rather focus that resources on your dps based servants who can actually do more damage and you know like more uh, more stuff right so usually uh, getting your dot team in the uh, you know like this omen void 12 floor is pretty much useless okay because like you need to take them really really high you really have to really focus them on making them really really amazing which will re gonna really require you a lot of cost resources and guess what guys uh, with that resources you can actually build a, another dps7 really amazingly high okay so that's the thing that you have to keep in mind guys so a dot based uh, team really really not a big choice i mean like i will actually show you one example later on but anyways for right now this is gonna be the best option for you guys okay safest and pretty fast as well guys 15 second mark of clearance okay uh, which i'm gonna show you right now and guess what guys i mean like it's gonna be very safe as well because this is the first archangel for first archangel we are talking about he is a defense based dps seven, so that's why he has a lot of like endurance and as well as of like as increased with endurance with his defense stats he will have more damage as well okay uh, um, uh water halal is over here uh to uh, improve his damage by 30 percent uh Forest Lucrecia is right over here to provide him like 52% defense boost and we have finally a uh, Forest a Sphinx, uh, like Water a Sphinx, sorry about that one guys, Water a Sphinx who is gonna provide a combo skill boost to the uh, Forest Archangel and, uh, and also 100% defense boost as well, okay? So, you know, like there's a really good team synergy going on right over here. Really, really amazing, right? So let's try to do the battle and let's see how it actually goes on. I'm actually crossing my fingers that, um, you know, like that defense down debuffs should be landing pretty precisely, okay? That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for, okay? And guess what, guys? For Forest Archangel, you need to make, uh, focus on his potential skills as well. <gasps> Come on! Oh, shit! He missed it out. Okay, I think I might have to actually repeat this battle again. Oh man, anyways, let's look into this battle, okay? Anyways, right over there. So there's a damage, okay? So I think he's actually gonna need, like, uh, how do you say this? Next one, and you can see the counter is already zero. The counter is already zero. Now he's actually gonna use that ultimate move. Boom! Bam! See? Look at that. Nearly all of my units are wiped out. Holy crap! And also make sure that, like, you know, other, like, useless servants, okay? Uh, they have their, uh, you know, like, skills locked, okay? And uh, even my, uh, like, first Agenzel was supposed to be dead, but due to his, uh, how, do you, how do you call that? Redemption! He came back into life. That is the best thing about Forest Agenzel, guys, because he comes into redemption, okay? Even though he was supposed to be knocked out by the faltering calamity, he actually stood up to the, uh, to the you know, like, to the challenge, okay? So now let's do the battle again. And I just want to show you, like, how the battle will be quickly finished if the defense down was actually right over there. Okay, so let's do it again. So, you also need to make sure that, like, uh, there is a really good accuracy on your your DPS servant, okay? DPS servant really needs a lot of accuracy, especially for that defense break or defense down debuff landing, okay? So let's see, let's see again, let's see, let's see. Can you do this? Can you do it? Oh my god, oh my god, that's so sad. Let's repeat it again. How about this time? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> I just really want to show you that one guys oh man come on come on come on just break his defense just once just once come on come on come on you can do it you can do it oh my god oh my god that's so sad again so let's see this time let's see this time uh as you can actually notice as well that like it is kind of really hard to inflict yes those debuffs against this opponent okay i think he's, he has a little bit increased improved uh, uh, effect resistance i guess that's why he is uh, also really that one. I think he has a lot of resistance, guys. <gasps> Just look at that! Look at that! Look at that, guys! Look at that! That's what I really wanted to show you guys, okay? First of all, defense-based DPS servants. Why do you need to pick them? First of all, even though, like, you know, like, they are on a pinch, they are still gonna stand out to the challenge, okay? They will not die. Even though, like, all the units were dead, he survived. Okay, he actually dealt that one. So that's the thing. And I think uh, compared to like other really good, uh, you know, like how to say this, 
players out there the CP okay of my first Archangel is not really that high or really that impressive I think it's really hovering around uh, 50,000 okay that's only 53,439 CP okay so I think there are others uh, like players who have like 90,000 CP or maybe 100,000 CP so in that case just think about what sort of things can you actually do okay so right out there just look at that one guys this critical damage oh my god that's a lot so that's the thing guys and next thing is that like if you somehow manage to actually break the defense even though like I'm mean, like yes he has a lot of effect uh, resistance or let's say resistance okay uh, you manage to like defense his uh, like break his defense sorry oh my god my voice uh, break his defense you will be able to one shot him right away after that one okay so 15 second mark you were I was able to clear him out and now let's move on to the next option well, obviously, the next option would be a speed-based speed DPS summon, right? But the problem is, like, they might be knocked out because obviously they are squishy, they have endurance problem, and if they are hit, you know, somehow, then they will actually die out really fast. And also on the top of that one, uh, the faltering calamity of the Omen 12 floor actually has only, like, five turns. So that means, like, it will be really fast. Uh, so uh, the main thing is that, like, you are really focusing on damage so your damage boost of let's say your damage output of his base dps7 is supposed to be really 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 high okay uh if i lose this battle i still won't be that much surprised okay i mean like i'm still skeptical about this one but anyways let's get this on okay I mean, just for this one i've never tried this one though before uh right over here so make sure that we speed based DPS 7 has a very very high stat in it very very high stat so that like, he can or she can actually one shot him okay so that's the thing please take uh, really full advantage of the uh, you know this relation effect and the problem is that like I cannot take the advantage of it because obviously my Simon is pretty much underdeveloped okay so look at him oh my god he is a disgrace and my water hell is over there obviously to provide the 30% damage boost and fire spiegel is there to provide the combo skill gaze boost and the forest stream is to provide the tankiness as well as the team passive speed of all elemental lands in the 32% in dungeon so let's do it okay let's do it let's do the battle okay i am not really 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 that uh, how to say this hopeful about this one i'm just i'm just hoping that she can actually land that defense down debuff okay and let's see let's see let's see okay let's see let's cross our fingers come on come on come on wow she was able to do that okay 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 let's see let's see let's see how much damage how much damage oh man that was not enough oh my god okay oh man that was pretty much enough when it came to omen void 11 floor but in 12 floor that's a lot and yes oh my god oh my god oh my god i was able to do it oh <laughs> I hang to the threads guys I hang to the threads you could see that literally my HP was just at 1 HP okay oh my god because like faltering calamity I think it cannot just kill you right away uh, your servants are gonna hang to that thread of 1 HP so the omen needs to deal like extra damage in order to kill you out okay I mean like he's gonna wipe out nearly your entire HP uh, except for that one HP okay and that's the that's the case scenario right over there and luckily this is speed based DPS servant so before the uh, omen could you know like how to say like reach the hands on her she was able to trigger her ultimate skill Wow that's amazing that was really really nice so I would really love to claim that one. Oh man that was really good but thing is that like, it still took her uh, like 27 seconds okay so i think my first archangel is gonna be the best choice right over here oh man that was so close and uh, well honestly to say guys i think uh defense ignore best dps 7 like let's say fire zeta is sort of like out of question here because the hp of the omen void 12 floor is really freakingly high you really don't want to mess up with that guy, dude. I mean, like, with the defense, ignore base DPS 7. Oh, my God. I mean, like, they really do lag damage, guys. So that's the case. Unless you really build them really, 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 really with super extreme gears. Then that's a different case of scenario, which I still am very skeptical about. 
but and this is the case scenario right over here so the only two servers that I'm actually uh, you know how to say like uh, recommending you guys is defense based DPS servant on the top priority and the speed based DPS servant on the second priority but if they have really good attack stats or speed stats then you can get them into the top priority as well yeah, you can do that and dot really not preferable but hey let's check this one out so let's try this one out okay first thing you have to consider that this guy this this fellow right over here has a very high resistance okay so it will be kind of very hard for our fire blavatsky to actually land those uh you know like dots okay just look at the accuracy of my fire blavatsky guys it's literally nearly 200 percent nearly 200 percent guys accuracy and still it's gonna be not enough okay so that's the thing right out there and uh i am actually putting out all those three you know how to say this tanks out there because like guess what guys a uh, c is also a sort of like you know like active skill gaze booster okay uh if uh, there is a tank class hit and then like she's uh, obviously of the support class she will always have a really high uh, skill gaze boost okay as as long as she has you know like how to say a tank around okay so that's really great indeed for her okay so let's see about this one and also she has like i think 100 percent day boost okay yes 100 percent defense boost it's an ally, ally anko is present and a water anchor right over here i am still skeptical but let's see let's try to let's try to do this okay let's try to do this it should have been a little bit like uh, how to say this easy battle because like my fire blavatsky is obviously a fire element and this is of like forest element should have been really easy i mean like uh, it could have been uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see i'm not pretty much sure about that one come on ah oh, man here we go the dot is there the dot is there the dot is there but oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god his first skill nearly killed me out oh shit oh man i should have i should I should have locked that skill. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Ah, oh, see right out there. The first skill, okay? Even though, like, I have three tanks out in there. I have three tanks. Three tanks, guys. He actually focuses on my uh, first Blavatsky, okay? So, uh, like, five Blavatsky. Because he's a support unit. So, that is the problem right out there, guys. That is actually making this game really, 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 really bad. So, let's try to end it up. And how about... I actually bring a healer. Okay, could that actually be a uh, could that actually be a thing? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. But I have to actually kick out one tank. Okay, so that will actually be a problem. Okay, and what tank should I kick out? This one. Okay, so uh, let's bring out the healer. Okay, luckily my healer is pretty good as well. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see on this one. Okay, let's see on this one. Well, I will be using heals and revive if somehow it actually is like, how to say this, uh, a dead. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Okay, it was there. The attack is down. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's damage. Boom, right out there. Okay, let's try to heal. Let's try to heal back. Come on. Hey. Okay, there we go. Speed boost again. And we have that one. Okay, so there's ultimate who coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What, what, what am I going to do? Oh my my the healing spell is not there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. It's dead. Okay. Okay. Anyways, revive, 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 revive. <laughs> so obviously our manual input is necessary all right out there. Oh man, that is so sad. And guess what guys? Let's say you have already inflicted dot on this, uh, this, this weird fellow, right? But let's say the coster is dead. Okay, the cost is dead even though like dot is there but the thing is that like you know if the cost is dead the dot is not gonna be in effect okay the dot will just vanish away okay so uh, you know, like the dot will deal no more damage if the cost is dead okay so please keep that in mind okay right over there and let's use this one come on come on come on heal 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 okay 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 this is just a fun battle i really don't recommend guys okay so you could uh, easily see that like you know uh you know like, it actually requires manual uh, input and uh, yes, I mean like uh, how to say like your servants really need to be a very 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 high level indeed. Okay, uh, come on, come on, come on, heal, heal. Okay, there we go. I actually able to do that. I mean like I, I was actually able to do that. Okay, wow. Okay, so there we go. Okay, 
Oh my god, that was actually a hot thumper. Okay, so whoa, one minute and 32 seconds. <gasps> Still, I was actually able to do it, but hey guys, oh my god, that was actually a very difficult fight, and I really needed to do some manual commands. So obviously you cannot you cannot actually auto that one, okay? So keep that in mind guys. Really really hard battle indeed, okay? Really really hard battle. Oh my god, holy crap, that was so hard. That was really hard. So uh, yes, these are the three types of servants, okay? Obviously, daughter, uh, the dot servants really require some manual input, but the defense-based DPS servants are the way to go, okay? Defense-based DPS servants, they are always gonna be on the safe side. You are gonna see the safe side of this battle, okay? So, uh, okay, yes, the final one, okay? Now, let's wrap it up with the final battle, which I was actually promising you to do a little while ago. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, should I use this one? No, no, I don't need to use Fire Spiegel. Okay, let's try to use my. Because Fire Spiegel, I mean, like, that is for combo skill. I mean, like, if I don't need to use the combo skill in the first place, then why would I need the Fire Spiegel, right? Right, 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 right? Okay, so let's do it. Okay, the final battle of this video, okay? So let's look into that matter. Okay, right out there. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Can we do it? 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 Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh. Oh. Nice, 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 nice. And. Oh, man. Oh, man. Because, like, you know, like, the defense was not down. It was supposed to be, like, first skill and then second skill, okay? So that was, that was, that was the case. Okay, let's try to do it again, okay? Uh, let's try to end the battle. And let's try to do it again. But this time I'm just gonna do some eleven manual input just to make, just to make sure that her first skill is the one that will go first, okay? And then let's hope that the defense will be down at that moment, okay? So let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh man, that didn't actually produce the result in the way that I was actually looking forward for. But anyways, hey guys, there's always an RNG effect going on. So spray to your RNG lord, okay? That the first skill is the one that is actually gonna be triggered, not the second skill, okay? It's it should always be like defense down first. Come on, will that be? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Just look at that! Look at that! Amazing! 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 Isn't that it? I mean like, you don't even need to use the combo skill. You don't need to even use the combo skill. It is so good. It is so good! Oh my god. Oh crap man, that is so good. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, this is how you actually play out with your servants and try to mash out the damage and do a lot of stuff, you know, like Omen Void. 10th floor, 11th floor and 11th floor guys. Okay, so uh, in summary guys, okay, when you are actually trying to fight against the 10th floor guys, okay, you can nearly take any sort of DPS dealer out there, even the daughters are gonna be really amazing, okay, dot servants are pretty good, especially fire Blavatsky, and if you are actually going out forward for a very like, uh, how to say, like, um, very conservative and very protective team, obviously defense based uh, uh, DPS servants are gonna be very very useful indeed, just like, uh, for, uh, arc how to say this? Water Archangel, Water Simon, like those kind of servants, okay? They are gonna be pretty, pretty amazing guys, okay? And when you are actually going to move on to the 11th floor, hey, by the way, guys, please try to capitalize on your elemental advantage, okay? Elemental advantage is gonna be very, very crucial in this game, guys, okay? So if it's against the water, uh, water, I mean, like, let's say Fire Omen, go with the water team, okay? If you are fighting against a water opponent, please try to go with a forest team. If you are fighting against a forest team, please try to go with the fire team. Try to always capitalize on the elemental advantage, okay? And now let's move on to 11th floor. In summary, in 11th floor, guys, the best pick will be the speed-based DPS seven because, like, obviously, uh, the HP pool is kind of a little bit like still low. So that you can still like, you know, sort of like one shot with the uh, combo skill with your uh, speed based TPS 7 Which usually like gets in just 10 second matter, okay? Within 10 seconds, the combo skill gate, uh, the combo skill will be ready to be used. That's really good about that, alright? You can also go with the ignore defense TPS 7 But they are actually gonna take some time because like of the lack in damage output, okay? So keep that in mind guys And uh, what are the others? Like dots? If you really want to go with the dots in the 11th floor only two servants that I can actually really offer to you guys is Forest Leto and Water Leto. These are the only two servants that I can go with the dot, which I really do not encourage you guys to do so because, like, they really need a lot of investment. First thing, and the next thing is that, like, you need to have them both because they only have like two dots. Uh, like, let's say for Fire Blavatsky, she has three dots, okay? 
So obviously our water letter and uh, forest letter are not gonna be that effective or efficient as a fire blavatsky. Okay, keep that in mind. And now let's move on to our final 12 floor. For the 12th floor, the best pick is obviously like defense based DPS servant because obviously you'll be requiring a lot of like, you know, sort of like how to say this survivability and stuff like that going on and you will have more survival even though like you are not supposed to like kill him in just one combo skill, you can still keep on doing that one, okay? As defense based DPS servant have really high endurance, they are still gonna survive that faltering calamity, that ultimate skill or ultimate move of that chicken, okay? and he's or they they can still keep on like fighting against that kind of tough monster okay and the next one is speed based dps seven but as you could see earlier they really need a very high investment okay but if your investment is really good enough it could actually be a really good scenario but i'm still a little bit skeptical about it okay but anyway speed based dps seven can actually be a really good choice as well okay but a little bit in a skeptical manner and the next one is obviously the dot which i think is not gonna be a very good suitable thing because you cannot really do the auto runs on that one forget about the ignore base tps7 because like obviously they are not actually gonna deal some damage about that one but hey guys guys finally the last one max hp base tps servant oh my god you know like let's look into my servant inventory Oh my god, I have been actually really trying that, uh, that one out for a very long time, but I still do lack a really built or proper max HP based uh, dealing DPS servant, okay? So look at this one. Deals damage based on the enemy's max HP and she still is like, you know, under nurtured for now. So that's the problem right out there. But I think these are the servants that are actually gonna deal uh, insane damage against the Omen Void 12 floor because Omen Void 12 floor has stupidly high, very high HP. So, uh, this kind of servants are gonna be really, really amazing. I am pretty sure about that one. So, uh, let's see if I can actually do that in the near future if I am actually able to get her to a very high level ASAP. So, let's look into that matter later in the future. But I cannot do it right now. Sorry about that one, guys. But I am sure, I promise you guys, to bring that video very soon. And I'm pretty much optimistic about it guys and I think if they are really built properly I think they are gonna be a even better choice than compared to uh, DPS uh, defense based DPS 7 okay I think if one compared to defense based DPS 7 they are actually gonna perform much better I guess okay so that is actually a uh, possibility okay so I mean in the near future in the near future I promise guys I promise so this is it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the corners of my channel. See you guys in the next video.